So I'm back. Uh, so I, I took a small vacation. I was away from my computer. So uh, yeah, I couldn't do really do any editing then. Uh, I considered uh, making a low effort, low quality video and then editing it on my phone. But you know, you want quality over quantity. So yeah, I I I knew what I was doing. Uh, but I'm back now and uh, ready to do a movie review. Before I left, I saw the movie Godzilla vs. Khan with a close friend of mine who um, is doing or already did a movie review of, of Godzilla vs. Khan, um, depending on when I upload this video. And uh, when he does put it out, or if, if, if he did, I would put a link in the description and also at the end, the end of the video. So you would find it either way. He's a great guy, uh, makes some great videos, you know. Uh, shout out to Beast Corp. I'll also link his uh, channel. Uh, so, now that that's all out of the way, let's get into this uh, movie review. So, I'll start off with saying that uh, I saw the previous 2019 Godzilla film. Uh, it was Godzilla King of the Monsters, and I was very disappointed. I mean, sure, I had like adrenaline coursing through my veins, like a Super Saiyan going like Ultra Instinct, but the, the human story was just so lacking. And oh my god, they definitely improved from the last one. Yeah, Godzilla vs. Khan is amazing. Like, the already amazing visuals that uh, King of the Monsters had were just like built upon, and the, um, the dog shit storyline became mediocre, which is so bad, but you know, an improvement nevertheless. The visuals in uh, CGI were by far the selling point of the movie. Like, every, like, goddamn louse in Convoy's hair was sculpted like Michelangelo's David. And, oh, the fights. Good lord, the fights. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, you know, but, like, every punch and laser thrown was just so goddamn fluid. It was beautiful. Like, uh, it was like watching an MMA fight. It was, it was insane. Uh, once again, I don't want to spoil anything. But at one point, uh, Khan is like on a building, and then he jumps off and pulls off a full-on Hulk Hogan leg drop on Lizard Boy. It's, it's insane. And it's not just Godzilla vs. Khan who are fighting. There's plenty of other kaiju uh, fights to enjoy. You know, as there's many, many uh, coming back kaiju. So just like the previous film, I had got plenty of adrenaline, but this. This adrenaline was not aided by constant like lightning and thunder like the previous one was, which makes it better because it's not relying on just common, uh, you know, adrenaline inducers. So in terms of the story, uh, it was once again lacking, but not as much as the previous film. Uh, there were two main storylines, and one of them was was really good. Like, actually pretty good, while the other just fell short. Which is, you know, better than, uh, the previous story of both of them just eating fat dick, you know. Uh, the one that was strong followed Khan and company going on a journey. And, uh, the reason why that was a strong storyline to me is because it, it kind of symbolized the relationship between Titans and humanity. Uh, like, they were able to do this by, um, through the use of a little, a little girl who, um... Who was a great, great actress, by the way. Probably, like, like I'm gonna get into this later, but she was, like, the only great... She was the only one who did pretty above-average acting in the film. Uh, and she knew how to deal with Khan. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. It, it's nice to see this in a species relationship, because... Instead of, like, look looking at the Titans as a danger, rather than, you know, like... They're actually interacting with hu the humans and changing the story and pushing forward the story rather than just being a, a blockade, rather than just being ha ha, lizard man girl brrr. On the other hand, the other storyline just it just seemed weak. You know, it had almost no Titan involved, at least not for the most part and it followed a, a trio of, of, of humans solving like an Alex Jones conspiracy. It was it was weird. It was weird. Uh, it really seemed more for comedic relief than anything. Uh, since, like, 90% of the jokes 
come from this, come from the fact that these people are all conspiracists and say weird things. That's 90% of the jokes in the movie. And I don't have any problem with it being a joke in a Godzilla movie. It's That's fine. It's just not why I go to see the movie. You know, I go to see a, a lizard and a monkey beat the shit out of each other, essentially. Ultimately, this other storyline just seemed like... It seemed like the movie would survive without it. Like, it's just there for comedic relief. Or to maybe add a little bit of mystery. Like, those are the only two purposes I can see with it. And the movie can ultimately survive without it. So, now I'll get to some, like, nitpicks and just special things I liked about the movie or didn't like about the movie. This won't necessarily affect the score because it's more just small things that are personal to me. So, I'm not going to make it affect the score, but I still would like to mention them. For one, the, the music... On the song, the soundtrack wasn't only just like action movie music. It wasn't just like dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. It was um. They also had oldies, and I am a big fucking fan of oldies. I am a boomer, <laughs> and so it was really good to see oldies in a, a movie like this. I did not see it coming. A negative I saw was that. And I don't know if this is just a problem with my movie theater, but oh my god, it was loud. It was just way too fucking loud. Well, now that I think about it, the, the, the trailers were also loud, so I'm just going to assume that it was a problem with my movie theater, but I don't care. I'm still going to complain about it, because that's just the type of person I am. It was louder than like a Katakuri 10 earthquake booming through a monster truck wall derby while people on bath saw screeched. It was am amazingly loud. It was impressive to how loud it was. I acclimated pretty quickly, uh, but goddamn if my ears did not bleed for just a little bit there. A little bit. The acting wasn't seen, to me it wasn't seen as important to the score because it, most of it was not amazing nor was it bad, like I said before. Most of them were just average. The only one who was above average was, little, was the um, young, you know, Gore. Which was surprising because uh, most child actors, you know, aren't the best. But she, she did pretty good, so that was, that was a good thing. So to conclude, I give Godzilla vs. Khan a 7 out of 10. The visuals and fights absolutely slap, but the story still lacks, so it can't connect to like any human character. But once again, you aren't going to watch an immersive story. You aren't watching to go see a huge theme. You're going to see a big ass monkey and a big ass lizard fight. That that's what you're going to go see. If you're going to see it with another reason for that, it's not going to be enjoyable. And it meets that expectation and exceeds it. If the story also slapped and did really well, then yeah, it would be getting like a 9 or a 10, but y you can't expect perfection, you know? Uh, if I were you and I hadn't seen it, I would definitely go watch it. You don't have to watch any other Godzilla film. You, you, you don't have to watch the 2014 one, you don't have to watch School Island, you don't have to watch King of the Monsters. They're all standalone. You still get what's going on. So, it, it, it's a very enjoyable experience, 7 out of 10. So, that's going to do it for this video. Make Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, the link to Beast Corp's video and channel will be found in the description. Um, or, right here, you know, whatever works. Be sure to uh, watch his video, because he's an actual huge fan of Godzilla. And he probably got details that went way over my head, which is hard because of the hair. Yeah, but that's about it. Go check out his channel. Subscribe to Beast Corp. Awesome man. Awesome dude. Does good content. Uh, that's about it, though. Bye, everybody.